When Jerry Rice caught 100 passes in 1990, the 49ers legend joined Art Monk as the only players to reach the century mark for receptions in a season. Haywood Jeffries would later join that group the following season in 1991 with his 100 catches. Furthermore, in 1992 and 1993, Sterling Sharp became the first NFL player to have at least 100 receptions in back-to-back -back seasons. Then in 1994, Chris Carter broke Sharp's single-season receptions mark by catching 122 passes. Enter the 1995 season. Without any indication that the receiving stats were going to dwindle, 1995 became an epic season for wide receivers, which included one remarkable showing from a very unknown player at the time. 90 Sports and Soldier presents Forgotten NFL Seasons, Isaac Bruce's 1995 campaign. And don't forget to kindly subscribe as we're trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers mark. And don't forget to share and give us a thumbs up. After reaching the NFC Championship game in 1989, the early 90s weren't too kind to the Los Angeles Rams. With the conclusion of the 1994 season, surprisingly, the Rams left LA for St. Louis beginning in 1995. Expectations were low, and the passing game was seemingly going to be abysmal, as their best wide receiver Willie Flipper Anderson signed with the Colts, and their second best receiver Jesse Hester was near the end of his football career. Isaac Bruce was a second round draft pick in 1994, and during that season Bruce only had 21 catches, but due to the previously mentioned statuses of Flipper Anderson and Jesse Hester, Bruce would wind up having one of the greatest seasons in NFL history from the wide receiver position. The Memphis product had a decent start to a season, but beginning with the fifth game, Bruce's numbers exploded. In fact, for the last three quarters of the season, Isaac Bruce averaged about 8.4 catches a game and 124.4 yards receiving a game. During this 12-game stretch, Bruce topped the 100-yard mark in eight of those games and only caught less than six passes once. In total, the 6-foot, 188-pound wide receiver had nine 100-yard receiving games to go along with his 13 touchdowns which assisted Isaac Bruce in unexpectedly having one of the most phenomenal seasons ever for a wide receiver up to this point. The Rams wide receiver finished the 1995 season with 119 receptions and 1,781 yards. At the time, the 119 receptions was the fifth most in the season, while the 1,781 yards was the second most ever in a season. But here's the most astonishing part. Isaac Bruce was not named to the Pro Bowl. 1995 was the year of the wide receiver. Herman Moore set the single season receptions mark with 123, but was later broken by Marvin Harrison with 143 receptions seven years later. Chris Carter duplicated his 1994 season by catching 122 balls again in 1995. Meanwhile, Jerry Rice also caught 122 passes and set the record for receiving yards in a season with 1,848, which was later broken by Calvin Johnson in 2012. Lastly, Michael Irvin had 111 catches for 1,603 yards. And one quick note to make, Sterling Sharp, who was arguably the best wide receiver during the early 90s, had his career-ending neck injury at the end of the 1994 season, so who knows how well Brett Favre and Sterling Sharp would have done in 1995. Herman Moore, Chris Carter, Jerry Rice, and Michael Irvin. These four players were already pretty much well established as being the game's best. Isaac Bruce just happened to be in the wrong conference and really came out of nowhere to put up these numbers. These stats were truly amazing in 1995, but let's dive a little bit deeper into some of the other factors. Chris Carter had Hall of Fame Warren Moon throwing him the ball, wide receiver Jake Reed, who was one of the best number two wide receivers at the time with playmaking ability, a really good offensive line, an explosive running back in Robert Smith, but only appeared in nine games that year. Herman Moore had Brett Pyramid to compliment him, as the two became the first duo in NFL history to record at least 100 catches in the same season. Scott Mitchell was a quarterback who I understand got criticized a lot throughout his career, but had a tremendous 1995 season, and of course Barry Sanders was in the backfield. Jerry Rice in the 49ers had one of the best rosters in football. Rice had Hall of Famer Steve Young throwing him passes for 11 games, and Elvis Gerback, who played really well throwing him the passes for the other five. And Mike Clervin was also in a very talented roster, as he had Hall of Famers Troy Aikman and Emmitt Smith to coincide with one of the greatest offensive lines ever. Meanwhile. Isaac Bruce had Chris Miller and Mark Rippon throwing him the ball in 1995. Miller had a good season in 1991, but too many concussions around this time for Chris Miller, and Rippon was on the decline of his career. Running back Jerome Bettis was in that weird funk of just being bad for the Rams, while there was nothing else too spectacular on offense. It was basically just Isaac Bruce, and that's it for the 95 Rams. One more stat to look at is the percentage of teams passing yards and receptions. Previously, it may have seemed obvious that Isaac Bruce should have been named a pro bowler over Michael Irvin, but these stats really favored Michael Irvin. The Cowboys were never going to be close to leading the league in pass attempts in the 90s. In fact, Hall of Famer Troy Aikman 
only threw for more than 20 touchdown passes once in his career. While looking at all these stats and dissecting all the information, can you really determine who had the best season in 1995? Isaac Bruce is well known for being part of the greatest show on turf, but surprisingly, his best season occurred before those dynamic years. Isaac Bruce's 1995 season was amazing, was overshadowed by four of the best wide receivers during the year of the wide receiver in 1995. It was a season that was totally unexpected from Isaac Bruce, but at the same time, it was definitely not a fluke for one of the game's best receivers.